And now mid-Michigan native Severio Posa joins us, and he actually won the Memorial Cup back in 2010. It was your rookie season. And at that time, I know it was your rookie year, but did you really appreciate what it meant to win that? To be honest, no. I mean, as a as a 17 year old coming into the league you don't know all the history that's really behind the trophy and all that I mean you know how competitive it's going to be and you know obviously the NHL scouts watching and all that so you're you're trying to make a push for your name but you don't really take in I think all the the glamour that goes on and all the hard work that goes on behind the scenes as well so um, I wish I would have took a little bit more time or somebody to at least sit down and tell me about all that stuff but at the time, you just want to win the tournament. You're so excited about it starting. You want that first puck to drop, your first shift to basically get over with. And but uh, at the end of the day, like I mean, it's it's such a prestigious tournament, and you know, just seeing all the years that have gone by since I was a part of it, it's it, it was an awesome thing to be a part of. And speaking of your win, I hear through the grapevine that you actually got the chance to take the cup home to Grand <laughs> Blanc. Yeah. Did you do anything fun with it while it was in Mid Michigan? I mean, weirdly enough, I think the first thing I did with it is I. I had to eat a whole thing of ice cream out of it right away. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, a, a buddy of mine, we took it back to his house right away, threw a whole bunch of scoops of ice cream in it, and just so that's my nerdy thing that I kind of did with yeah. the cup. But no, but to being able to show family and friends, we had a big party with it and stuff as well. And um, just taking all that in and, you know, being able to share all the hard work with friends and family who've done so much for me, getting me to where I am, it was, it, it was a surreal uh, experience for sure. And we absolutely have to address that you are a Goodrich Martian, like myself. <laughs> oh. So tell, I know you have a huge hockey family. I know about your dad's career. You know, he played professional hockey. But what was it like for you in Goodrich, you know, honing your hockey skills? I mean, the area that we're in, obviously, hockey isn't as big as, let's say, the footballs or the basketballs of the world. But, uh, you know, my dad, obviously, being a competitive hockey player himself, playing in the NHL, uh, he brought myself and my brother up and he taught us basically the ropes. And we just we, we developed such a passion of it as we as we got older and um, just coming up through the AAA systems in Detroit and, and building uh, our name and our skill sets. We were able to end up playing high end juniors ourselves. So. Uh, yeah, Goodrich, you know, it's it's not really the biggest yeah. hockey town, but, uh, it, you know, it was my thing. It was, you know, but people took a lot of interest in it, and so I actually developed a lot of friends, like, through my time there, just through the game itself. And so we have a Memorial, Memorial Cup champ from Goodrich now, right? That's right. right. Yep, that's it. That's it. <laughs> so, Mario Posa, thank you so much. Thank you for so joining much for us. Having I really guys. appreciate it. 